come on. Bro, I'll punch you up, bro. Not in that way because of your height. I didn't mean it in that way. I didn't, bro. Just, bro, please come on. Let's let's just let's continue the show. I didn't mean it in that way because of your height. I never liked you. You did. You're a gold digger. I'm not really you, not. You I'm me. not a gold digger. Don't say and, that. And a passport. Use you. You should even be happy I spoke to you. You freaking proposed to me and I accepted it. And you're talking about using you. I'm really leaving. Like, I don't even know why I was invited to this stupid show and I agreed to come with him. <laughs> Oh, are you okay? Greed and lies are at the heart of the dilemmas in the courtroom today. Being a millionaire is all fun and games until you realise that all your lover wants from you is your money and a British passport. Will today's couple solve their issues just in time for Christmas? I hope so. The tea is boiling hot and so is the drama. You are watching Judge Will. Let's get straight into it. Today's claimant is Tune. He's accusing his wife of being a gold digger and using him to get a British passport. And today's defendant is Glory. She says Tune isn't respecting her or her religious beliefs around celibacy, but overall wants them to solve their drama so they can have a good Christmas. Tune, why are you in court today? Judge Will, I'm here today because I have suspicions that my wife is a gold digger. She's been using me for money and she's been using me to get a British passport. Oh. What, using you? No, like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Glory, really? glory, glory, glory. Why are you in court today? <sighs> okay, fine, Judge Will. Well, you, you see my husband, right? No, you see all why, the no, expect, Why are you in court today, Glory? Well, I'm in court today just to prove that my husband is not actually right. And then he doesn't even want to respect my religious beliefs. I mean, when it comes to sex, I believe in celibacy. I'm, I'm doing it for my God. You know, I'm respecting God. That's mm. what he sent me to do. And he never wants to understand. And guess what? He is so stingy. He never gets me anything. I told him I want a posh for hold, Christmas. Hold on, stingy. Stingy with his with his money. What, with stingy. his money? Yeah. You what, are. what do you mean? Well, I told you I wanted a posh for Christmas, right? Guess what he got me last Christmas? He got me a dishwasher. <laughs> I mean, how can he be buying me a dishwasher for Christmas? Am I still a cleaner? He got me <laughs> I mean, you're not working anymore since you met me. I've been supporting you, providing for you. I think there's a bit of a tension right now between you two in this marriage, clearly. Uh, let's talk about how you first met. Let's talk about the good times. Tune, I understand that you you met from a dating app and you, you were talking online. That's literally. right, yeah, we met on a dating app. We, you know, we were flirting, there was a lot of chemistry and I really, I fell in love with her, you know? This is, you know, this is what, I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with this woman. And then she said, after we got married, we're gonna have sex, we're gonna have a lot of sex, we're gonna have beautiful children, but we haven't had sex once. We've been married six months and she's been showing me less affection since we got married. So we used to cuddle every night, we used to kiss and now I don't get any of that. What was the situation for you then? Was it that you guys, you found, him really, really attractive? And what was the situation for you? Yeah, I mean, I found him attractive. That's why I married him, right? Like, he was just so kind, you know, mm -hmm. promised to take care of me, treat me like a queen. I mean, I do deserve that. But, you know, he's not just the same. I mean, we always have to have this fight about sex. And, mm -hmm. you know, I just want to stay celibate. I'm not asking for too much. Listen, I haven't had sex before. I'm just waiting for God to speak to me, to tell me the right time. Well, he was really kind. He was such a giver, you know, always there for me, treating me like a queen, but, you know, now I don't, I don't get it. It's not there for me. You don't treat me like a queen anymore. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't that? treat you like a queen. What, what, what do you do for a living, uh, Glory? Well, at, at the moment, at the moment, I'm, I'm his wife. I stay home and I do social media and influencer kind of. And then you know, I'm just home taking care of him. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. So your job title is that your tune's wife? Yeah. What was your job before you met Tune? Well, I was working as a cleaner. You know, and then uh, we, we met. But, but th that's oh, so you, oh, so you were a cleaner? I was a cleaner, but that's my past, right? Yeah. And then he told me that he loved me like that anyway. When you say past, I mean, it wasn't that long ago. It was about two years ago. So now, so, so, so you've, you've married Tune and your career is basically being Tune's wife. I don't feel like you love me. I feel like you're using me for my money. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But, but we're talking about, so we want to understand the money you have. <laughs> okay, so what, what, what is it you do for um, a living? I've got several properties. So we, we let them out and we refinance them. Wow, and is that around the world? Uh, that's around the UK. Wow. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of money in, in, in real estate, sir. Yeah. So you must be earning a decent amount of coin. Yeah, it's a good amount of coin. I'm that's... not trying to pry on your income, but are we saying in, in the millions, somewhere around that? Yeah, in the millions. So, so would you say, Glory, that one of the reasons why you have chosen to not look for a job after you got married to Tune is because of the, the income that, that Tune has? Well, it's not just about that. He said he wanted me to stay home, you know, you yeah, know take what, care of the house. Yeah, but what do you want for yourself, my darling? What do you want for yourself? Because you've not, have you tried to look for other jobs or are you relying solely on his income? 
Well, I, I want him to open a big business for me. You know, probably I want to get into real estate as well. You know, sell things. You, you know I like such things. I've already got so many women lined up after me. I don't need this one. She's a gold digger. Now, I understand that so you two were dating, um, but you got married fairly quickly. I mean, six months is very quick to to, to get down on one knee. I mean, I, I, this was the woman I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Yeah. And she said to me that she's got these religious beliefs. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to question it anymore. I'm going to get down one knee. Yeah. I surprised her. You know, we've been married now. Mm. And since then, the affection has just been going down. I felt oh, more yeah. disconnected from her. So I don't know what to do, Judge. So, do you feel like Glory was maybe pressuring you to get married in that period? Or was this something that you wanted to do? Well, I felt like she mentioned it quite a few times. She said, look, we've got to get married so we can have sex. Um, we can't we can't have sex until we get married. So, you know, for me, as a man that I was very attracted to her, I thought I'd get down on one knee sooner than, sooner than later. Yeah, but being celibate is not a crime. I'm not saying I'm not going to have sex with you. I'm just saying I'm not ready now. I'm just keeping myself. And hold on, and hold on, hold on. Because look, I have friends who are celibate, right? Yeah. And when they get married, they then have sex. Because it's allowed when you are married. Now, from what I understand here, you have chosen to still not have sex after being married. What's the reason for this? Well, the truth is, Judge Real, I'm, I'm waiting on God for the right time because I'm, I'm very religious as well. So I just want God to tell me the right time to have sex with him. That's basically what I've been waiting But he doesn't want to understand. Wait, so you're waiting for, for God to tell you? Yeah. But surely in the Bible, does God not say it's okay to... To do it after marriage, but you're waiting. Oh, you're waiting for a second. Yes. So I, I communicate with him. So I just know the yeah. right time, you know, when he gives me the go ahead, I'll be able to do it. And I've been explaining this to my husband, but he doesn't want to understand. Why? What? What? Judge, well, you see this, this attitude I'm getting. See, this is my issue here. Yeah, really? But you went on a one nil, didn't you? Did well, I, did what, I what, force what, you? What message are you waiting for God? Like, what what well, kind of message? I he's going to tell me the right time. Now, we mentioned it earlier briefly, but I've got down here that, Tune, you feel like. Glory has used you to get her British passport. Now, yeah. let, let's get to the bottom of this. Glory, obviously, you said that you moved to the UK from Nigeria mm -hmm. about two years ago. Mm -hmm. You started working as a cleaner and then you met Tune. Um, if you don't mind me asking, were you living in the UK as an illegal immigrant? Judge Real, I don't think that's any of your business, honestly. It is, because if we're trying to get to the bottom of whether you used him to get a passport, we need to know, were you an immigrant or not? Were you staying in the country legally? Were you? But that's not the case right now. We're married and then we're trying to fix our no, problems. No, but I guess, I guess what we're trying to understand is, you know, did you need the, the citizenship and the stay in the country? I don't want to talk about that. That's not why I married him anyways. Judge Will, I have reasons to believe that she was an illegal immigrant when I met her. I wasn't aware before, but I am now because I found documents in the house that is providing really big evidence. Illegal or not, you married me, right? We're married. That's that's the Okay, that's but were you an immigrant and did you need him to get your passport? I you? don't want to talk did about you? this. No! That's what I'm saying. No, that's not the yeah. case right now. That's not the case. We're married, right? We're married. <laughs> We're we are married, married now. Yeah, but... And now you've got a British passport. Yeah, but that's not the reason why I married you. If if the reason why you married Tune was for love and not for the passport, hand over the passport then. Well, it's not his, you know. It's no, the no, but you can, you can hand over the passport. I mean, if, you, if, if it's something you don't need. And you... After all the love I've shown you, you're talking about your love money. Me. Yeah, you've shown me before the marriage. After the marriage, where's the love? Well, I still show no you, love. but look no at your love. attitude. That's why there's been no love because you've been so stingy. Uh, let's talk about uh, the stinginess allegations that you've been raising. So Christmas is obviously around the corner. Glory, you have said that you do want this drama to be solved just in time for Christmas yeah. so that everything can be okay with you two. Mm -hmm. But there's a bit of a, a debate around the Christmas gifts that was bought last year and what you want this year. Mm -hmm. You have said that you want what for Christmas this year? A posh. A what? A posh. A posh Cayenne, actually. That's what I want. <laughs> I mean, you can afford it. Yeah, I can afford it. I mean, it. he's rich. So yeah. Why don't you want to get me one then? You, you want to get me another dishwasher? Ah, uh, because I need to drive around town so people can see. I've already, you've already got a car. Yeah, but I don't want that one. I want something more, you know. Okay, 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 okay. If you don't mind me asking, my darling, what, what is it that you're, you yourself are bringing to the table? What do you what, what are you buying for Christmas? Get you a nice shirt, you know. I know your size. Okay, maybe a nice shoe as well. I could get you, you okay, know, so like nice shirt, nice shoes, and yeah, things. yeah. You need to get me a posh. I'm your wife, you know. You promise to treat me like a queen. So, both of you, from what I understand, Tune, you have actually been spending a lot of money on glory. A over lot the last of money, year. a lot. 
I understand from here that you've you've paid for several trips for Glory to go off to Dubai. Yeah, I paid for her to go to Dubai, but she doesn't want to be seen with me in public, so I couldn't come with her. So she had to go by herself to Dubai. So, Glory, what's your reason here? Judge Will, sometimes I just want to go on holiday by myself. You know, do some shopping. I don't, I don't have to go with you, but I went there by myself. Sometimes you and always I'm sure go you by yourself. Well, I, I'm gonna go with you, but you yeah, just when? have to. Don't make it look like that. I'm very proud of you. My family really? knows you, and yeah. that's that's all that really matters. Tune, tune, tune. You said just now that you feel like maybe Glory doesn't want to be seen in public with you. Why do you feel this way? I don't know. Maybe I think it's because of my dwarfism. Like I, you know, I'm a shorter height, so I think that's why she doesn't want to be seen. In public what, with what's me. your what's your height? How, how tall do you stand at? Four foot six. I don't know why she's got a problem with my height. Anyway, short men give the best sex. Do you have a problem? No. I mean, I married him. I don't have a problem with really? his height, no. Yeah, sure? I don't care if a man is tall or short. Money is what makes me happy. Money is my type, honestly. But he obviously feels like you don't want to be seen with him in public. So let's talk about the dates of recent. So since the, since you guys have been married, mm -hmm. you know, have you been out in public together much or, or do you prefer to keep the dates indoors? She but likes to keep it indoors, really. Yeah, but indoors is not bad. I'm just private. Why is that a crime? I don't know any of your friends. I don't, I don't know anything. I mean, we don't go out together. Yeah, but it's not really that much of a big deal, you know? You're it's not, not Maybe not you, for you, right? it's a big deal for me. Yeah, but I'm proud of you. Don't make it look like I'm looking down to you or anything like that. That's not true. I've, I've been with you. i the feeling that you are a gold digger. I am... It's, it's all adding up, you know? I wasn't thinking about it properly before this, but, you know, not the holidays... I am not. Order, order, order. So, Tune, you are obviously a man with money, a man with wealth. Have you ever yes. experienced it with women where maybe you feel like they could be using you for money? Yeah, Judge Will, I've experienced this many times in the past, but I thought Glory was different. You know, when we first met, she was treating me like a king. She was making me breakfast in bed. But since we got married, since we, we you know, we signed together, everything's gone tits up. Everything's changed. She's treated me differently. And I just don't feel like, yeah, I don't feel like she loves me. If I'm gonna be honest, yeah, I'm very proud of him. Well, prove it. If you're really proud of me and you love me, let's go out together. I don't think there's any need to. But... <laughs> what? Ah! what do you mean? I mean, we don't need to go out together. Glory, together. it sounds like you are embarrassed of your husband. What's going on? I'm not, but we just don't need to go out together. We're okay. The okay, way we are. Obviously, you've not been going on dates in public with your own husband, June, who's been giving you all of this money. You know, my, my girls and my friends have, you know, seen me with taller men. So, you know, sometimes I just... I don't know. I just don't want all the questions. You know, <laughs> she, she not really mad because there, there was there to me questions. And all Will, do you think this is fucking funny? Sorry, what? What's so funny? You think my height is a joke? No, 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 no. Not, not, in, not, in, not in that way, not in that way. No. Why, why are you laughing at me? Bro, come on, man, come on. Bro, I'll punch you up, bro. Bro, no, come in. No, not in that, no, not in that way. No, I didn't mean it in that way. You didn't mean it that way, no? No, no, no bro. Are you sure? You... But... No, 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 Bro, I didn't mean it in that way because of your height. No, 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 bro, I didn't mean it in that way because of your height. I didn't I I didn't mean it in that bro. Not in that way because of your height. I didn't mean it in that way. I didn't bro, bro, please come on. Let's let's just let's continue the show. I didn't mean it in that way because of your height. Let's, let's continue, let's continue. No, no, it's cool. I didn't mean it in that way because of your height. Cool. 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 So, Gloria, is everything cool? Are we good? Cool. Glory, yeah. so You're okay. You're okay, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So Glory. Do you have a problem with his height? Well, the truth is, I do love him, but you know, sometimes I, I do have a little problem with his height because I just don't know what people are gonna say. I, I don't want people to, you know, laugh at me or something. Mm. And can we just can we actually see the height difference? Would you mind just standing up on camera so we can see? It's just you know, it's been a mood today. That's that's why. But we're cool, babe. We're okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. Okay, so let's get back to the conversation around the reason why you don't have sex. Glory, you have said yourself that the reason why you don't have sex is because of your religious beliefs and your celibacy. Okay, you said that you're waiting for a message 
from God. At Judge mm -hmm. Wall here, we've uh, conducted a lie detector test, mm -hmm. which you took part in. Uh, Glory, we asked you if you've ever engaged in sexual intercourse in your whole life. You said no. You said that initially you're, you've been a virgin for your whole life. Mm -hmm. uh, the results have come back as false. You lied. Why What's... did you lie? I... <sighs> Hello. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Judge Will, can you stop fucking sorry. laughing? Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You better be. Sorry. We also asked, we also asked if you've ever engaged in sexual intercourse with anyone else other than Tune during your marriage. You said no. That's come back as false, so you lied again. Bro, I'm not gonna what? sit here and listen so to this nonsense. I never lied like, to you. You did, you're a gold digger. I'm not really you, you not I'm me, not a gold digger. Don't and, say that. And a passport. Use you. You should even be happy I spoke to you. You freaking proposed to me and I accepted it. And you're talking about using you. Yeah, Don't tell me, me that. Use you're a gold you. Digger. You're a gold digger. Oh please. I literally live for you. Every day is all about you. I can't even stand you right now. I'm not even gonna do this right now. You're gonna break the Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yeah, gosh. she's gonna walk off. Why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What That's what I mean, you gold leaving, digger. Oh. You're like, Use me for my money. Judge Will, I'm going. I can't even stand him. Look at what he's. I'm really leaving. Like, I don't even know why I was invited to this stupid show and I agreed to come with him. Are you okay? Are you not gonna she's change something to your wife? Yeah, she's gone. She's a I never used you. I never used yeah. They're not going to stop arguing, uh, but I think we're going to wrap it up there. The drama continues right here on Judge Will. We'll be back real soon.